I added this tinge of glue in the hair and I swear, I freaking swear, it looks so good. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, an all-in-one platform to build very cool websites. Okay, so which character am I gonna ruin today? Ooh la la. Okay, this is it. I can't tell what those red things are on her face. Like, that is either strawberry jam or a pimple. There is an in-between. Acne? Yes. Oh. So it is a pimple. So first we're just gonna lay out the foundation. I'm not really used to this cutesy wootsy art style, so this is gonna be a change. Okay, I need some more details about this character. Listen, I stalked this guy's Instagram. There really isn't a detailed description of this character, so I'm just gonna have to go with her vibes. Speaking of this dude's Instagram, sheesh, the art style is just moi, chef's kiss. I don't mean this in a negative way, but you have the skills of an extremely talented 14 year old, like no cap. I'm gonna draw her like she's supposed to be eating a peach. Cause like apparently Momo means peach. So obviously we're just gonna have a peach involved Involved? I don't know. That's what my two brain cells came up with. I might change it though. You know what? I'm just gonna have her tongue stick out. Ah yes, very generic anime pose. Anyway, I like this character. One thing I noticed about her character is that she doesn't really have a lot of accessories going on and stuff. Very simple character design. Just pink hair and eyes that say, I'm dead in the inside. She just like me for real. That's how you know it's good character design. You know, that's the most wonderful thing about character design. You don't need too many details, okay? The most important thing really is the vibes that they give off. So so she's got a bunch of outfits here that I can reference. Anyway, so now let's do the coloring. As always, I start off with doing this very crazy eyeshadow. We're gonna fix it later. Guys, trust the process. I'm trying to go for this pastel aesthetic, so this is really long hair. So what I'm gonna do is select a darker color and airbrush this baby so that it's gradient. And for the upper part, let's select a lighter and more saturated color and just airbrush it again. See, it's all gradient. We're gonna shade it later, but for now, let's just go back to the face. Just making them juicy lips juicy once again. Oh yes. Okay, another tip for y'all is to grab your liner layer and lock it. And then you're gonna change the color of your liner. Listen, it really depends on what aesthetic you're going for. If you want a lighter color scheme, use colors like this. It is an absolute Game changer, I freaking swear. Next, I use a multiply layer and just added a dash of blue for the shadows. Okay, Picasso. So, going back to the eyes right here, like I said, it depends on the aesthetic, but for this one, I want her eyes to really stand out because she got bold eyeliner in the main reference. So, I'm gonna change it to this dark bluish color. Okay, I'm gonna merge all the layers together and start painting. So, I'm just really blending out everything, right? You know what? The mouth is kind of bothering me. Let's remove it. Anyway, I'm gonna copy paste the eye so that it looks symmetrical and then add these juicy bottom lashes. For the lips, I'm just gonna put these as a placeholder. Alright! As I said a bazillion times before, the eyes are the most important part. But the thing is, I don't really like putting too many details on the eyes. The important thing really is the pupil, which is the little dot on the center, and the highlight, which is supposed to make the eye look glossy and juicy. Speaking of juicy, let us make the lips juicy. Okay, you know what? I kind of didn't like the eyes. Looking back at our character, Momo is dead inside. Like her eyes just scream, nothing in life is interesting anymore. At least that's what I think. I'm just going by her vibes over here. So I just kind of went ahead and airbrushed a more neutral pink color and added dark but not too dark pupils. And yes, the eyes are supposed to be blurry. It's my aesthetic. I like it. Got a problem with that? But before we proceed, look at my beautiful website. Hey guys, this is all thanks to Squarespace's beginner-friendly platform. If you're looking to create professional-looking websites, they already have website templates that make your website look professional. Plus, there's a ton of Squarespace extensions that you can use to make life easier for you. You can showcase your portfolio, or make blog posts, or even a merch store that you can fully customize. Also, they got this built-in editor, so if you want to check Squarespace out, head on over to squarespace.com com slash cooling to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using code cooling. Okay, going back. Okay, so now let's shade the hair. Listen, I'm not too good at coloring the hair. Like, I could really use some freaking practice. But I'm telling you guys, using the right colors to shade gives a huge difference. I've said this many times before, right? But obviously a lot of people
people still don't know so so for example i have this pink salmon color over here just eye drop that and select a darker shade but you have to slide the color circle thingy to the left or to the right just to make it more interesting right and look at how this looks okay another tip is to add these random colors listen i don't know crap about color theory okay so don't take my word for it but i added this tinge of blue in the hair and i swear i freaking swear it looks so good i noticed there was a little bit of blue on the original reference as well like i started adding vibrant colors onto the shadows lately and for some reason it just makes my art pop out more. can someone in the comments explain this anyway i'm just basically refining this okay so now let's proceed to drawing the big little bunny another tip when you're drawing your character don't just make them stand there okay there has to be something they're doing with their hands someone told me that you're supposed to always be telling a story with your art but you know sometimes i prefer to just have my characters smegsily staring into your soul that could work too anyway it just depends on you it's really just a friendly tip i'm not your boss anyway in this drawing for example i'm having her hold this bunny from the og creator except that it's a bit uglier than the original i know i know right now it looks like some raw chicken but hopefully it's gonna get better just trust the process maybe i don't really have to do the details on the lower right part of her body since it's gonna get covered anyway guys i freaking swear drawing this stuffed toy is literally harder than drawing the face anyway i spent the next 30 minutes just trying to refine the hair and all i'm just basically avoiding the bunny right now let's do the bunny now facing our fears oh yes so when you want to draw something soft there really isn't much shading to soft materials it's a pretty smooth surface so there aren't a lot of hard shadows okay just soft and juicy shading okay so this looks like a bootleg curvy when you're drawing something and it looks out of place there's a high chance that it's probably just the light Line art. This character has line art to it and the doll does not. So I'm just gonna put the line art real quick. Okay, so the last tip is the background. I mean, it could just be a white background, but since I'm feeling a little extra, I drew this little peach right here and just copy pasted it into a pattern. I lower the opacity because it's not the center of attention. Anyway, so I edited it on Procreate and this is the final result. Okay, here's a speed paint real quick. Okay, cool. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. Watch this video next, and I'll see you there. Stay cool.